friends welcome to kamath astrology and in today's video i am going to cover a very sensitive topic we all know that on 16th august 2021 the terrorist organization called taliban recaptured the province of kabul and the whole of afghanistan so in this video we will try to understand what is the impact of this capture of afghanistan by taliban on india now this is the horoscope of independent afghanistan okay so afghanistan was freed from british control on 19th august 1919 and this day is celebrated as the independence day in afghanistan unfortunately on 16th august 2021 afghanistan has now been captured by this terrorist organization called taliban and as i am making this video today is 18th august and tomorrow 19th august is the independence day of afghanistan which now has no meaning in reality so let us look at this chart on 19th august 1919 when afghanistan first gained independence and you can understand a few things about afghanistan from this chart now if you look at the sign of cancer you can see two planets in it neptune and jupiter shown by the green circle now neptune represents idealism jupiter represents religion okay and mars represents aggression so the region of afghanistan is always dominated by a struggle related to religious beliefs because neptune and jupiter both represent our beliefs our subconscious system our imaginary powers our fantasy okay so you can see that this region is continuously controlled by fanatism over religious beliefs if you see the sign of leo you can see saturn and sun present in this house again wherever saturn and sun are present both are cruel planets and it indicates a struggle now this is the fourth house in this horoscope and fourth house is the house of peace happiness motherly love and comforts so you can see the people in this region are always undergoing a struggle for peace and happiness there are always conflicts the presence of sun and saturn together indicates the conflict ketu present with the moon indicates lack of happiness lack of peace of mind for the people in afghanistan okay and you can see venus is in his debilitation sign which means the women in this country the children in this country will continuously suffer as a consequence of these ongoing conflicts now if you look at the current transit also venus is present in the sign of virgo and is in debilitation right now now let us look at the current mahadasha for afghanistan it is venus mahadasha which has started in 2016 okay and this mahadasha is going to go on till 2036 and we have seen that venus is debilitated in the horoscope of independent afghanistan and right now you can see venus mahadasha is running and the current pratyantar dasha is of shani the antar dasha is of the moon so i have circled this in red and therefore during this time period the population the people of afghanistan they will undergo tremendous turmoil tremendous stress in fact this entire mahadasha is going to be stressful for the people of afghanistan and the takeover of afghanistan by the taliban 
points towards a very fanatic regime now coming into play in Afghanistan. So is this torment going to end so soon? No, it is not going to end so soon. It is going to last for many years. In fact, many governments will now recognize the Taliban. For example, countries such as Pakistan, Sudan, Turkey, China and a few countries which were earlier a part of USSR will recognize the Taliban government in Afghanistan and this is a very bad news. Now because these countries have their own interests in mind. Though right now as on 18th August Taliban is saying that it is not going to harm the people in Afghanistan. In the times ahead, that is in the next few days itself, Taliban will start troubling the women, the children and the people of Afghanistan in a very bad way. And this also reflects very badly on organizations such as UNO, the human rights organizations. Where are these organizations today? What actions are they taking? On ground, you see these organizations are not taking any actions and are just conducting meaningless meetings. So these organizations such as the UNO, the human rights organizations are going to lose their credibility because of this event. Now a few weeks back, that is around 30th July I think, I had made a video saying rise in religious fanatism. I will post that video in the description box wherein I have mentioned that in the month of August there will be extreme rise in religious fanatism. You can go through that video and this is exactly what is happening right now. Also there is a very bad period starting from 7th September till 20th September. This is the 13 day Shukla Paksha period which was the same period just before the start of the Mahabharata war. Okay? And it is said that this period can destroy civilizations. So this is a very bad period. I have made a separate video on the, that and I will also post that in the description box so that you can have a look at that video as well. Now let us go to the core topic. What is the impact of this event on India? So now this is the map of India. And now you can see that Afghanistan lies beyond Pakistan towards the northern side of India. Okay, And the whole territory of Kabul which is bordering with Islamabad has been captured by the Taliban. Okay, Now there are already some terrorist groups within Pakistan. And you can see the most sensitive point where we are going to get affected is the region of Kashmir and the Himalayas. Okay? There will also be some impact on the regions such as Delhi and Amritsar. Now if you see the purple circle that shows the region of China. So you can see this region marked with orange circle is extremely sensitive because what China is now trying to do is it is trying to build the China Park economic corridor and for this reason it will try to align with the Taliban in Afghanistan and does gain direct entry into Europe via Afghanistan. So therefore the Chinese government will in all probability recognize the Taliban formally as a government there. And this is very bad news for India because these insurgents from Pakistan, from Afghanistan will definitely impact the entire region of Kashmir and try to destabilize India. One more thing is, earlier the Taliban was a small force of 75,000 fighters. Okay? And now the US has trained 3 lakh Afghan soldiers who have surrendered to the Taliban and therefore the strength of Taliban right now is approximately 4 lakh fighters. Plus, there are insurgents coming from foreign countries into Afghanistan, which means the Taliban now has a very huge army. Second thing is, the US has left behind 
a lot of weapons in this region okay and all these sophisticated weapons are now available to these terrorists the third danger to india is if india has to do any trade with europe passing through afghanistan was the easiest mode of transport and now with the taliban in control this is going to become very difficult for india because on the other side you have china which does not cooperate with india and if you look at these regions afghanistan and pakistan again there is a problem so the trade for india will be impacted in a big way with the european countries it's not going to be very easy now in the year 2022 as well as right now in transit jupiter and neptune are together in the sign of aquarius in 2022 jupiter and neptune will be together in the sign of pisces again neptune indicates idealism jupiter indicates religious beliefs okay and therefore over these two years that is especially in the next year there is going to be an extreme rise in religious fanatism so my point is india is definitely affected in a big way because of this recapture of afghanistan by the taliban and in times ahead the security forces may need to take strong action they may also need to capture areas such as pok which is also not going to be an easy task because chinese forces will have to be defeated as the cpec that is the china pak economic corridor is passing through this region and definitely there will be resistance from the chinese side however i see that mars is well placed and therefore our army can take strong action and recapture these areas of pok and aksai chin if the indian army succeeds in doing this then the threat will be reduced to a large extent else this threat will have a big bearing in the times ahead so friends now is the time to be extremely alert to be cautious and to help the government in any way we can in the next few months this group is going to do a lot of barbaric activities and the world needs to take strong action if it does not want this terrorist establishment to gain a strong foothold in the asian region so friends this was my analysis of impact on india of taliban recapturing the whole of afghanistan if you like this video do mark it as liked on youtube for any consultations any queries email us at astrosevaworld@yahoo.com and i'll be glad to assist you to know more about us visit our website astroseva.tripod.com so friends thanks a lot we'll see you soon with another video till then Bye take care stay safe